Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GameStar TV. And not really sure why the event overlay hasn't updated. It is going to be our final match of the evening. It's getting late here in New Zealand, but that's fine. Oh. Rocket oh, yeah. League is where things is at uh, for <laughs> tonight. And we're going to be bringing you Team Molotov versus NVIDIA. Are, are you all right, Crisis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just, I just you're lo losing my plot there, buddy. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of a dive in a moment since yeah well we've, we've covered three matches so far uh and it's crazy stuff as we wait for the the boys to uh get ready in the server i don't think everyone's in there at the moment um but this is another good match and I, i'm just having a look on the the cyber gamer apparently team molotov are ranked zero <laughs> i don't get it how does that happen how do you i think it means uh, that uh, they're infinitely ahead of everybody else that's what it means right Oh, I don't know. I might have a look at the standing and see where they're actually sitting. Uh, they're sitting six at the moment. Oh. So, um, yeah, I don't get how zero turns to a six. Yeah, but never Molo let's Molotov or Invidious? Dinner time. Yeah. Dinner time. Whoa, we got the teams joining the server, and let's just have a very quick look there. We've got uh, Invidious are on blue, so got to just do the quick switcheroo, and we will be into this match good and proper. There's the countdown, and it is going to be Invidious on the blue team versus Team Molotov on the orange team. Invidious are coleslaw, french fries, sparks, and on Team Molotov, we've got Fork, Dogpa, and toxic yes get some indeed i always love a bit of french fries and coleslaw and uh they've been playing some really good matches of late so it'll be really exciting to see how they go look i can't pick um pick a winner out of tonight like both teams are really good well let me just say that both of these teams are going to want to secure themselves a fourth maybe even a third spot on the power rankings for the end of 2015. Going into 2016 with a little bit of kudos, a bit of confidence. Uh, so we'll have to see how these two teams play. It's great that they're going up against each other because they are firm contenders for that kind of midfield, mid, top of the midfield kind of area of the power rankings, Pfizer. Yes, indeed, as the minute gets ticked down on this on the clock is still donuts for both teams as the boys set up. Here comes Coleslaw with a shot. Oh, in the net he goes. Yeah, beauty. And that was courtesy of a couple of his teammates. Well, in fact, Toxic setting that up for him, hitting the side. And Coleslaw will tell you, you're very, you're very proactive to be up in there already, knowing that that ball's coming in that position. And he slots that in for his team. So, Invidious going up. Starting with a good start here. Oh, oh. the shot coming from Goldslaw, but just hits the top of the crossbar crisis. That is some crazy stuff going on right now. Yeah, they just managed to get the clear away there. It's 1 0 to Invidious right now, and they will look to create another one as they sit around in the blue zone right now. Fork is lurking, but he gets cleared away. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, Molotov uh, Fork is lurking to look for a reply. Uh, falls back on defense and well doesn't get a touch to the ball because he's got another play there up into the air he goes though carries the ball forward it's going to go up into the air uh, next to the wall he goes for the wall shot dog park comes through he's got a lot of fans in the twitch chat visor has oh, dog yes. park, uh, but he hasn't yes dog fans yet. very very uh, very he's very ladies man he's very popular as well so and uh, i would say he's the man's man <laughs> every man loves a bit of dog park and they'll spam the hell out of the dog in the Twitch uh, chat. You got any shout outs? Uh, let, let them rip. We're happy to uh, get them on the Plantronics Pro uh, Gaming as we hit it up in this server right now. Two minutes and 30 seconds coming down to the tick. The one that's only scored us in the Avidius, but the boys at the team, Molotov, want to try and set something up. Doc, for doing a little bit of uh, personal work on the. Uh, on his bonnet but it gets knocked out by coleslaw he works it back around up it goes toxic with the aerial hits it into the attacking half french fries says no no way that's going to happen he clears it out back for his team and it's sitting up high oh toxic 
I was, I was watching from another person, but I always love a bit of aerial when they smash it down the field crosses. Uh, it's the best time. The only thing that's more impressive is when they do one of those ball shots and then follow the ball through the air and oh, uh, get yes. the aerial. <laughs> oh! Juggling in, French fries. French fries. Picks up the ball in uh, his uh, zone, bounces it off the wall, it sticks on the ground. Just does the double jump at the end there to get the final touch to the ball. Doesn't have to do any sort of <laughs> wall, fancy pants, wall or aerial shots. Just bread and butter, yeah. puts it in the back of the net. 2-0 to Invidious. And uh, they will look to make it oh, a 3-0. The ball sitting down in front of the orange goal. It gets cleared away, but it's not controlled by a Molotov. It's controlled by Invidious instead. It crosses the goal face yet again. And it's only the finishing of Invidious that lets down uh, the opportunity for a third goal to go in. And by that I'm not criticizing uh, Invidious, I'm more saying Molotov's defense is not being aggressive enough, Bison. Now, I haven't seen Doc Power part of Team Molotov's uh, lineup before, so it looks like he's a sub tonight. Um, and, and the guys in the, uh, look, shout out to School Bus. Doc Power couldn't teach a puppy where to poop, mate. Um, it goes out by that, so I, I like that one, that's pretty cool. Uh, as the rest try to spam and say hello to Lisa as well. Shot coming from Fork, but Team Molotov gets it deflected out by Colesaw cleared. Also does the aerial work, but it's still sitting in the defensive half for Invidious. Now they're going to work it to the attacking side. And the Team Molotov, the Dogfight, does the clearance off the side of the wall. He does the second flash trick. It's bouncing to the goal. Up goes French Fries, he misses it but there's no one there for Molotov to set it up. The dog probably will miss the clear off the wall, but it will be picked up by Fork. He's going in for the attack, French fries clears. And uh, we're looking like we're going back and forth, but with 20 seconds left, Molotov, well, I don't think this is gonna be a game for them. I don't think they can get the next two on the 15. Yeah, they've put together a strong pressurizing performance, but really couldn't get the ball. They, even though they kept the ball in the blue zone, they couldn't really get it out of the corner there, so good stifling defense there, suffocating uh, any opportunities for Team Molotov. Uh, and Invidious uh, take the first game uh, with a comfortable sort of 2-0. Yeah, it's um, interesting to say just uh, what happens when... Well, I'm not going to take anything away from Dogpa. He's, he's a legend in his own field, uh, and I'm sure Team Molotov will bring him in. Uh, being 100% comfortable. But when you start to take a little bit of a mix out, you can see this slow start. So what, um, as I will ready up, what they need to do is is get their game on from the start and the next uh, and try and get the first couple goals and then dictate the pace from there. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing you don't get from playing uh, what is effectively solo queue for Rocket League. Even if you duo with somebody, uh, you don't get... You never get to that point where you build real synergy uh, in, in that yeah. sort of, with your teammates. Um, and so a lot of the time it's your individual skill, it's your ability to intercept the ball and take oh! shots from anywhere in the field like Sparks just did. Uh, but when it comes to competitive Rocket League where you're playing against teams, the synergy aspect of your teamwork is absolutely critical. And you can only build that up by putting in the hours, communicating and playing together with your team. So look, uh, Dogpa might be one of the greatest players that has ever graced the service. <laughs> uh, but the reality is, is he's going up against a team uh, that has been working together. Um, Coleslaw, French Fries and Sparks, and who have been doing very, very well. Who just a couple of weeks ago, Visor came very, very close to causing an upset against Sequential Gaming. Yes, indeed. Um, I'd love to add a little bit more to that crisis, but we're just going to go straight into the action with the 40 seconds down already in the first. Dogpad with the block. Sparks has his shot. Up it goes. Coleslaw for a little bit of action, but he goes a little bit wide there and cleared back out. Dogpad just hitting to the side. Coleslaw doing the same as well. And Fork will push out for his team and go for the attacking here. So Molotov wants to try and get a goal. On the, have they swapped sides? Crisis? Oh, a bit of a miscommunication there. Toxic uh, tries for a strike. No, actually, it wasn't a, a communication. If I think about it, I've seen them do that shot before where one just touches the ball up into the sky and 
Toxic was looking to get some burst on it. He gets a good little a good piece of action off of the wall there. And Toxic uh, puts the ball in the back of the goal and gets team uh, get, gets uh, one on the board for Invidious. Uh, sorry, for Molotov. What am I saying? Have they switched sides? <laughs> They've switched sides. Yes, this, oh my I, God. I, I, this is what I tried to tell you. They switched sides. So I, I, I'm like, um, hold on, what's going on? The, you should the other side, other way around. Ah, uh, well, they switched us and confusing the hell out of the casters. We'll sort our stuff out. At the moment, they're both one all, and it's tied up with three minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. Zogpo is starting to work into his momentum and get Molotov into a favorable position. But the clear comes, well, the aerial work comes from Coleslaw as the force to do the defensive side, Evidius, that is. Zogpo gets beaten over the top by Coleslaw, but Toxic will clear out for his team and the ball will just linger in the middle section there. Toxic coming around, setting up high, and the fork decides to get his, well, he was trying to get down there for the shot, but he wasn't there in time. Dogpod missing it off as Sparks clears off the side. Now Fork has his shot. It goes high. Who's coming for the aerial? Someone's coming for it. It's rolling over the line. In it goes. Fork secures the goal for his team. Team Molotov. They go up 2-1 here, Crisis. I, I clearly didn't see who got that. Oh, Fork gets that. And Toxic with a little bit of a touch, and he got a bit of a shunt in the back of the, bo of the boot. So uh, there's a good goal by the Molotov. They need a couple more to secure this round out. Hey, shout out to Aaron RL who asked who won game one, which I think was just a hint for me to switch the scores around there. Because uh, I swapped the teams around and needed to swap the scores around as well. So Nvidia's right now are 1-0 in the lead over Team Molotov. But in game number two, Molotov with that 2-1 lead right now, they're finding their feet a little bit. Uh, and uh, hoping to make this into a little bit of a series. Oh, toxic! Quick shout out while uh, the misses go by to Lollies, who says, what kind of tournament is this? This is a league, a pro league, here played in Oceania. Um, and this is the invite division. So eight teams in the invite division. They play each other in a round robin week on week, and we're into week number seven of the league. And this is the last game. Oh, oh that is a oh, great save oh, from Fork. The ball sitting up. And he was able to clear it out. And now he tries to carry it up. Gets a nice little one-two going with oh. his uh, with Toxic. But uh, the halo Stepping from Sparks up. good to get the clear away, Bizer. Yeah, Spoke team stepping up to the plate with the aerial disputes and they're trying to convert. Oh, Toxic slams the ball in. With there's no goalie in line, too easy for him. In fact, we'll have a look at that. Spice gets pushed out. Coleslaw's caught in the wrong posse. And Tossi just takes advantage of some easy ball play sitting in front of him. So they go up another goal. And that's what I said earlier. What they wanted to do was convert. With a minute and a half ticking, still the potential for Invidious to score a couple, go the overtime, or even take the second match. But um, if anything, going by the momentum of both teams, we won't see another goal for another minute here, Crisis. Well, we may not, but if there's going to be a comeback, there's got to be a score within the next 30 or so seconds, and that, that is the call from uh, NVIDIA. They <laughs> are taking their shots at goal right now. There was a 1-2 pepper there, and it gets cleared away. Oh, oh but toxic. dangerous. Toxic comes back, and that yeah, synergy we were talking about, uh, Biza, they seem to be finding it right now. Or is it just that Toxic's individual brilliance is coming to the fore and carrying his team with three goals out of the four they've scored? I think they're warming to Dog Par and he's doing his bit, what he needs to do for his team. Uh, and it looks like Toxic's taking a little bit more on his plate and setting up the goals. Look, getting a hat trick definitely steeds you and uh, puts you in good stead for your team to win. This, as we get the 45 seconds ticking, shot coming from French Fries wide, Toxic clears, doing the defensive work for his team. Sparks, well, he just does a little bit of a war work, hits it into an advantage as Fork, oh, he gets lost over it, but he will turn around, boost and try to clear it. French Fries now sets it up, goes Toxic off the wall and clears. I was actually hoping that we saw uh, uh, French Fries and Sparks going for the shot, but it didn't avail as Sparks was a stop at Deadeton and Tracks, and um, well, that's a bit of miscommunication because he's actually tried to get it back to his teammate, and he was nowhere to be seen. As this ball drops down, the 10 seconds are ticking, and the shot comes through Dogpa! Oh, he saw an opening and he took it. 
What a shot. Yeah, Doug Five with a gift really of the rebound there. And that came, that was gifted by the boys from Invidious because it kind of felt as though they were going, well, we've lost this game. Let's just uh, punt the ball around a little bit and waste time and just keep it 4 1. And they got punished for it and go down 5 1 instead. What a turnaround, wow. Blizer. That is a turnaround. Molotov uh, picking up that five goals to just one in reply. What a turnaround indeed. Team Molotov turning on the uh, waterworks. And as we do have that, um, another shout out from the school bus. He's actually full of some good analogies. Uh, what, what sprinkler system does Dogpa use for his concrete? Question mark. Well, Crisis, what do you think he uses? I think this is <laughs> an yeah, Australian it... joke. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dogba doing well for the last one in there. It's going to be interesting to see how, how they go um, going through the third and the fourth match because we're one apiece at the moment. Florida's Plantronics Pro Invite League game. The team, Molotov taking the videos. Bryce, let's take us away for the game round three. I think I get the joke now. I think it's a toilet toilet joke. Is that is that what it is? Sorry, you cut out on me. I lose you half the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let the joke go. Let it go. Never Let's mind. get into the Well, we are one all tied in the series. It's the best of five. If you've just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Plantronics Pro League. And right now, I'm just going to have a quick check. And yes, thank God, Team Molotov have stayed on the blue side. We don't have to do any sort of switcheroos around. And uh, just as well, Molotov going to keep, uh, trying to keep their momentum rather with a couple of shots on goal. But Coleslaw gets the clear out. Invidious looking to turn things around for them. Great defense there from uh, Toxic. He gets uh, up into the, over into the orange zone. The ball is sailing over him, but Dogpa, the newbie uh, in the team, sets oh, it up. Oh. And four comes through and scores a goal. Get a bit of pork on your fork, slots it in. And uh, I'll flick to his screen, have a look at that aerial. Ah, oh, too easy. And Coleslaw, well, you're in the wrong position, mate. You can't get that one. They go one up early. One minute down crisis is what they need. And the team of um, Vidius, well, they've lost all the momentum. They've got none at the moment. Oh, the cut. That, that cut shot. No, it's not good enough. Uh, but for a moment there, that flying shot uh, that was taken, I thought was going to go in. I think it was Sparks. Uh, that made the shot. We'll stick with French fries for now as he falls back now. Uh, that was an opportunity gone uh, begging. Uh, but they'll have another shot at it. Coleslaw carries the ball up. They've got donuts on the board right now and looking to break the momentum of Team Molotov who have come back after losing the first game. They've won the second game. Who's going to take the third game and put the series pressure onto the oh. opponents? The ball sitting up in front of the goals. It bounces. It gets cleared away by oh, Doug. What a shot. It's not good enough. Colesaw comes through off the rebound and scores uh, for his team. That's one all visor. Soft touch by Doc Parr. Catches his team out as Coleslaw takes a bit of Coleslaw into the goals. God, um, no... <laughs> Four matches in and I can't come up with anything, Prices. <laughs> Ducking. Toxic hitting off the wall for his team. Both teams locked one apiece. Uh, Spice comes up with a halo, hits it up on the top and bounces it out. Out comes Dogfire setting it across, switching play to the other side. Then he does his own little flip to try and work it into an attack. But out comes French Fries, does the aerial on target, but two. Oh, he has a chance for Dogfire. The ball gets uh, just bounced hard enough away by French Fries. Colstor gets a halo too. And Dogfire was just guilty of waiting a moment too long, I think. And uh, the ball now uh, in a Molotov's control. Uh, sorry, in uh, Invidious's control, they take the ball, take a shot at goals, French Fries gets a centre credit, not really a shot credit, the ball <laughs> now back in the blue zone, and a Molotov uh, continuing to defend, uh, these shots that are going either high or wide really, Baiza not really threatening the goal too much. No, and I'm getting trolled massively in Twitch chat, so I'm just going to stop with the analogies, because I'm no good at them, uh, and just call the play how it is. Uh, and two minutes ticking left on the Splantronics Pro Invite game. Dogpa doing a bit of work for the team of Molotov. 
and he has to continue to perform if they want to convert goals and take the victories. Coleslaw works the side but doesn't get the conversion on goal. Dogfar don't want the clear working and does go for the attack as well. French Flight will stop that. It gets set by Sparks and cleared out by the Fries. Working nicely together for coming through for a team Molotov. And Aerial Dispute again. Crisis a minute and 30 seconds ticking. We're stuck in a deadlock and it's looking like both teams are struggling to convert. Yeah, they, uh, they're not really gaining a huge amount of control. So uh, they're getting their touches to the ball. They're doing part one of clearing the ball or just changing the direction enough to disrupt the attack but not really following through with any sort of finish and in fact their defenses oh that ball oh, it's just so close <laughs> oh man it bounced and floated and did all sorts of things but go into the goals and nobody pushed it in oh, and that is the softest of touches from french fries high up in the air he comes through the ball is floating and he just taps it 55 k's per hour and the angle almost was beaten by the defenders, but in the end it was good enough. And Invidious, with one minute remaining, have a two goals to one. It's a good start from them, and uh, I think Twitch is saying we've got a little bit more crackling. Is it is it crisis or myself? Let's figure that out. When I get excited, does it crack a little bit, or uh, is, is something happening on crisis? And let us know what's going on as another shot comes, it hits the goal, and uh, Fork, wow. Tell you what, that was very close as the voice of NVIDIA has tried to get another goal and take to secure the third match down to 30 seconds with kick. French Fries has a little bit of clear work for his team. Fork will work his way into the central corridor and try and, and uh, get into the attacking, but Dogpa does the hit and the centre. Spice clears. Fork does his little burnout to get back to his goal. And here comes NVIDIA with an attack on goal crosses. Yes, yeah, Sparks is carrying it up. It gets up into the air. Toxic on the back wall. Uh, gets a touch on it and gets the clear out there. The ball is going to go dead pretty soon. Well, this is dangerous. This is a chance. Oh, it bounces on the ground. And Molotov almost pull it back there. But uh, Invidious take that third game and go 2-1 up in the series. Indeed, they do. And they do it very closely. Um, bringing back the, the last game, which was 4-1 in favor of Team Molotov. So we're seeing another close one, and we go into the fourth. Invidious in front. This is interesting to see how it will pan out in the fourth. I, I honestly think we're going to go to a fifth. And um, shout out to everyone in Twitch feed right now. I think the uh, the man of the hour and the person that's on fire is, it's all about Dogpa. Crisis, it's all about Dogpa. Well, he's certainly rallying the team. Let's just say that much. And <laughs> rallying the Twitch, uh, Twitch viewers as well. And that's really well, what you want. We, we usually leave it up to um, Twitch to decide the MVP. Without Dogpa really carrying or topping or anything, he's pretty much a shoe in from now. <laughs> yeah, well, if uh, the nominations come through, who are we to argue? And we right. seem to have uh, just a little we've bit of... We, we've lost someone. We've lost one of the guys. Yeah, we've got Coleslaw. Coleslaw. We don't have Coleslaw. Yeah. We've we got dropped. That. So the guy's going to fly around and they're going to have to remake the server. Going to turn around the car, head on back to the drive through and yell at the uh, yell at the attendant. Oh, hey, my KFC's got no Coleslaw. It's the best <laughs> part. <laughs> oh, and well, we've got to get out of the server, so actually. We, we, so we, must, we must leave get out and do the remake as well um i think my mic is a bit crackly when i get a bit excited so i might step back a little bit and try and level it out um no i don't think it's you I, I don't think it's you mate because like i i'm not hearing anything through my monitoring system so i'm not hearing the crackling from you or, which i would hear for sure so there's maybe something going on with the output of my um my mixing desk or something like that. I don't know. What I'm saying is it's not server. your fault. What are we doing? No, it's not my fault. I hope it's not. Um, trying to be good as I'm getting a server error, so to see what they're doing. Videos I'm making, I'm not sure. Righto, we're in a bit of a limbo. So while we take this limbo, 
uh, and a little bit of a break. Let's take a moment to pimp out the GameStar Media's. Um, you can catch a lot of content that we have up at the moment, and just recently a bit of CS action as well, and uh, and also League of Legends, a lot of Rocket League at our website www.gamestar.com, and that star at the end is not an R, it's a H. So spell it right, you noobs, uh, and get over there and, and view all the content. If you want to catch some previous um, VODs that we do have up, we do have YouTube, which is the GameStar Media. There's a lot of action and a lot of content over there. So jump on there if you want to grab that as well. And if you want to follow us to catch all this live action that we do promote every single time we do a stream, it is at GameStar on our Twitters. And for our handles, myself, it's Bizer1989. And... For Crisis, it's at I'm Crisis. So I'm being invited to a lobby. And I think Crisis needs to be invited to a lobby. Yeah, I've been trying to join the server using the, the previous details, and that has not been happening. So, yep, I've got the invite. <laughs> uh, how do I get to it now? Now, I've just invited you, so you got to do your fancy stuff. Shout out to um, Oz, Ozblitz. He's saying dog bar for MVP 2020. Oh, there crap. I am... T no, no, no. Jump out of that. Oh. Shouldn't have done that. I've just invited by someone else who's not in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the game is up, and it's with the previous details. So they just took a while to set it up. And who is that? Shout out to Duffy, who says he reckons it's the gain on somebody's mic. So I've turned down my mic, and I've turned down yours, and hopefully... I mean, Oblitz. Sorry, mate. <laughs> hopefully that'll sort things out. All right, we're back into the server, and jumping on to the spectates side of things, as Bizer and I. Team Molotov versus Invidious. If you've just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, it's the last Plantronics Pro League match to be on GameStar TV1 for the 2015 year. Christmas is coming, and we're going to be playing casual yes. Rocket League. Because, I mean, let's face it, Baiza, it, just because the professional, um, the professional leagues are taking a brief hiatus, uh, that doesn't mean we're going to stop playing Rocket League. It's a no, no, we'll be playing uh, all the Rocket Leagues we can get our hands on. And uh, we might even hold a, a community night where we just do some fun, love, and action, and everyone watching it with the pro teams, whoever's available to do some stuff. And uh, look, after this one, we are doing our ice hockey match. I don't care what you say, we're doing it, and uh, it's going to be exciting. So let's just jump off that for now and get back into this fourth game. Midius are in the lead with the games overall. 2-1, Team Molotov, got to do the back end work once again. But they do have a dog part, which everyone seems to think that he is the uh, in the God, he is the almighty crisis. Uh, but let's see if he can convert some goals in this four point. Well, apparently he doesn't have a controller, so maybe we shouldn't be giving him Steam credit. We should just get him like credits in EV games or something like that, so he can go and buy himself a <laughs> just controller. Just buy him a controller. Yeah, I mean, is he is he actually playing uh, Rocket League with a mouse and keyboard? Can we have some confirmation of whether that is actually the case? Uh, in the Twitch chat, because if that is the case, oh man, that is just uh, the, the toughest thing to be playing. And so impressive if he's able to put together what he's been doing tonight with the mouse and keyboard. That's why you've got a legend status next to your name. You, you can do any of it. You can do it off the mouse, you can do it off the, off the keyboard. Like You can do it off the mouse alone. Like, he's got about 20 buttons he's using. To, uh, to even win, <laughs> to do what he can do. So uh, shout out to Dogpa, and I'm sure Twitch chat, we're gonna be shouting out to him all night long, and he's gonna be loving it. He now working the ball, going to the side, it goes a bit wide, no one following up for the team, a Molotov clearance coming from Invidious. As we're stuck on the donuts right now, they do want to try and convert this early. The demo almost tries to come from Sparks, but he backs off as Toxic hits back into the back of the goal. Still dangerous for Molotov, it drops down, no one's attacking. Over the top, Toxic goes. Oh, and the nobody wants the ball. The it's just kind of floating around on yeah, the side there. It. And the players kind of do a little bit of a drive-by and go, yep, that's the ball. Uh, nobody wants to touch it, though. Maybe they didn't wash its hands after it went to the loo. But now they're getting their touches to it. The ball carried oh. over. And Coleslaw, who went MIA for a moment, 
arrives back and uh, puts another one in the back of the net for his team. And that is a 1-0 situation now for Invidious. They're 2-1 up in the series, Bizer. So looking firm uh, with, with firm sights uh, on the victory. Halfway down in this fourth map, and yes, they've definitely got their eye on the prize. And they do want to take this game out. Dogpuzz stuck in the middle, goes up and stops to push out from the boys of uh, the Invidious. It gets set back defensively. They're getting it stuck on the goal. Dog, but just misses. He gets pushed to the wrong side of where he was just going for all glory. Uh, pedal to the metal and he couldn't convert there. It's back in the defensive half. He goes up now and slots back out, but it gets pinched by French fries. It goes wide. Here comes Coleslaw for the second setup and he goes for the own goal as well. It goes for the conversion and French fries will slot around and take, take the goal. Have a look at that, Cole Slaw just setting it up. French fries comes wide, and uh, a flurry of toxic boys all sitting on the floor going, What the hell are we doing? Couldn't get that. They go two up. Nvidia's firming their spots for the victory of tonight's game here, Crisis. Great play from both of these teams, but right now, Nvidia's firmly in command. And by the way, I just want to say, I just want to pick up, so the confirmation is there from Ditch, uh, from Jam Gaming, that. Uh, Dogpa is playing with a keyboard and mouse. So we're going to do something special tonight for the MVP. If Dogpa actually gets voted legit MVP, instead of sending him a $20 team credit, I will send him from GameStar an a Xbox controller. One controller. So it's, yeah, make it wireless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, well, no, he's going to have to get the wireless <laughs> price himself because uh, that's, you know, we're approaching 70 or 80 bucks there for the two together. But I will get him uh, uh, from GameStar uh, a controller, but he's got to be legitimately voted MVP. So he's going up against Soma. And who were the other MVPs? Uh, what do we have? We had. You're going to make me flip me page. So you had two faced. Um, well, I didn't get the one out of the Gamma Root, damn it. And Soma. <laughs> we have to go back and figure that one out. I think it was Dezu. Out of the roost, yes it was. Yeah, Daisu. Daisu. Yeah, so Daisu, Two-Face, Soma, and if he gets selected, uh, that is, a dog puck, he will go up against those three. We'll have our usual standard vote, and he's got to win legitimately. So he's actually got to win the MVP, and we will send him a controller, uh, courtesy <laughs> of a game Oh, it's not a revolution. Award. Oh, dog, dog puck for our Prime Minister crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. All right, 17 seconds left here, and I think this is coming down to the end of it. The ball is just getting whacked around by both teams. There might be a shot coming from Nvidia's, but it gets knocked out by Toxic. And it, heading back down over there, and four seconds go up, the ball goes, and someone will eventually drop that down. They're going to try and keep it up. Dogpart works it out to the side and finishes the match off for the team. The GGs will go out. And the boys from NVIDIA setting that one down hometown, and they will take that out there, Crosses. All right, so we've got to ask, get ourselves organized for the GameStay MVP award. So we're looking for um, we're looking for a nomination for the MVP for tonight's match. So let's just see who that is, Biza, and I'll set up the poll in the meantime. You do that, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up... Um, a hockey match. So I'm going to grab those players and see what we can also see who's voting. So Dogpa's got a couple there. So I think he's a firm bet for this one. We're going to give him the MVP. <laughs> I reckon that everyone else feels ripped off. But Dogpa, you, you got an MVP for this final match. So you'll set that one up. And I'll get these players in. So let's just go through it. It was Daisu, it was Two Face, and it was Soma and Dogpa. What a night of Rocket League, I tell you, Cross. It, it has four been matches. absolutely Don fantastic. Sunday Night Mayhem, and I tell you what, shout out to you, man. You just backed up from the League of Legends full day of broadcasting <laughs> to another couple of hours of Rocket League. Tell you what, man, you're a game star legend, mate. Oh, I love it. I love the broadcasting that we do, and I'm very, 
very pleased to be able to do it, mate. And I'm just just so aware that it is the the final the final night of the season, so we got to get it going. So just uh, give me a second. I'm going to get this uh, overlay up on the board. If I can remember how to click buttons, because <laughs> oh no, I got to I got to add something there. Hang on. Now shout out to um to Orion and Nugget. The supervisor, I'm trying to sort out getting this hockey match. I actually spammed them about two and a half hours going, oh, we're going to do it now. And they've been waiting patiently for me, for, uh, for me to <laughs> tell them that it's going to go at the end of the cast. So shout out to you guys. Thanks for waiting around. If you could get into the lobby that I've invited you to, that would be lovely. Thanks. What an excellent situation we have. It looks like Dogpa may well be going home. With, <laughs> with the Gamester MVP award for tonight, he's got an absolute landslide of votes uh, for, oh, uh, wow. uh, for MVP for tonight. And look, I'm not going to argue with the will of the people. We will be very, very pleased to be sending this out to him. Hey, it's Christmas time, Biza, so we've got to send out at least one gift, right? Yes, at least one gift and... Uh... Why not do it with, a, with another head? Well, I was going to say headset. Why not do it with a controller? We gave away a headset before, so let's give away a controller. Yeah, and of course the headset uh, from Plantronics Pro from Plantronics Gaming uh, that went to Ozzy Osbert, and that was through their promotion, which was a Twitter tweet, um, as you do, um, uh, that needed to be retweeted, and then you needed to be watching tonight. I mean, it was that easy, and he gets his choice of a Plantronics headset from uh, Plantronics Gaming Australia. Well, the votes are in, ladies and gentlemen. The poll is closed, and the clear winner is Dogpa, who, the keyboard and mouse warrior, who's going to have to make a little bit of an adjustment after we send him his MVP award tonight, Biza, because he is the winner, and he's going <laughs> to get himself an Xbox One controller courtesy of uh, GameStar. Dog. Dog far forever, and uh, tell you what, I can see, <laughs> I can see running. If he's not going to run for prime minister, he'll run for president against um, oh, in, in America for 2020. And I'm, I'm tell you, he'll probably win. <laughs> he could do uh, stiff competition there from Trump and uh, what was that other the other one, Clinton. But you know what, he should go as an independent, and he would certainly uh, be able to pick that one up. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is it for the competitive Rocket League for the night. We're going to head on over to do uh, what we hope is a little, have a little bit of fun. Um, I've just had an invite from Biza, and we are hopefully time going for to a bit of fun, boys. Be able to bring you a uh, a bit of ice hockey. So thanks for joining us for the official part of the evening. Uh, stick around, though. We're going to have a little bit of fun. This is Crisis and Biza signing out. Get some.